AUD USD. Uh, AUD USD did not go as I expected at all. It just completely uh, continued its uh, bullish momentum and continued to break out from this previous resistance. However, what is now the next move we can expect from the AUD USD? Now, we need to find what's going to happen later. Uh, looking at the left, I don't see so far any strong resistance level at all. Let's go more to the left. We can see that also there is no strong resistance level as well. Continue. Even here, we don't see a strong resistance level uh, unless this one here. Let me just draw it for you. Right here. That is actually the only strong resistance level I can see. And we can see that the market did not exceed this level here and right here. Uh, made a fake breakout right here. And then the reversal happened here. And also it was a strong support level right here. Let's go more to the recent days. And we can see that also it was a good support level right here. However, uh, yeah, here as well and here and here. However, still I don't see it as a strong resistance. So let's see. It seems like the AUD USD is actually going to continue its growth, and I don't see it reversing at all before reaching this uh, previous resistance level. So, uh, in my expectation, the signal for the AUD USD should be looking for the buy order because, again, we don't see really that strong sub resistance level. However, there was plenty of strong support levels. Let me just draw my uh, support line right on this support level, right here, right here, and right here. That's really interesting. Now let's go back to the past and see if this level I had drawn is actually was acting, is actually was acting as a <laughs> previous support level. And we can see the support level right here, right here, and right here. Still, I cannot find the key support level. I'm still looking. Let's go more to the left. Oh my God, look at that. Fantastic. So this level was a strong as a support and also here as a support, which was also strong as a resistance. You can actually check. Look at that. That is 2008, which is totally fine. Again, uh, as I explained earlier, these support and resistance levels, they are permanent. Check it out. The very same level we just draw in 2019. It was a strong resistance right here in 2003. And again, same year, it was also a strong support level. So what does that mean? That means that we can expect for a pullback to happen right here. Just a correction, not a correction, just a pullback. And then the AUD USD is going to continue its bullish momentum after reversing right on the support level. Let me tell you something that if you place your buy, your buy order right here on this level, you can expect for the market to go a little bit more down until hitting this previous resistance right here. So this is going to be my uh, entering area zone or my resistance zone actually, like that. So once you see the market entering this zone, you can start actually uh, buying the AUD USD. Let me just do something else. I will just use the trend lines right, uh, this time and let me just draw some resistance trend line so I can rely on them to find where is the next uh, reversal is gonna occur. Uh, let me just randomly select any resistance trend line from this line here until this level right here. Again, this line you can just drag it anywhere and you can see that the level has been respected and this support uh, uh, trend line has become later a resistance trend line. Now, let me just place it right here. like that so what we can expect from the AUD USD is actually is it's gonna on Monday it's gonna continue a little bit uh, its bullish momentum and then it's going to make the pullback finally and uh, because we had here a small resistance I think the market is going to reverse right on this level and therefore I am expecting my by Monday evening or Tuesday morning uh, the AUD USD will be good to start buying and we once the market entering this zone we can actually start buying the AUD USD all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here. Because after hitting this resistance, not here, right like that. 
after hitting this resistance I'm expecting for the AUD USD to actually start falling down uh, all the way until it hit uh, again this previous uh, support level so again this is not gonna happen until the week after that's why this week the signal for the AUD USD is gonna be the buy after the pullback Just wait for the market to perform the pullback just similar signal to the pound a uh, pound usd wait for the market to reverse on this support level and then you can start buying the aud usd again and you can keep your trade running all the way until it hit this previous resistance level and then uh, most likely it's gonna be good to short however we always have to wait uh, the price action before we proceed with this order so that was my that was my expectation for the pound for the AUD USD and again thank you guys for your time and watching